Yeah, if we're looking if we're looking at this, right? Like this this is what like my ass is, right? Is is this. Increasing the impact of this, this price increase. That's that's what creates MOAS, right? Because if the prices actually get this high, and options does exact options do exactly that, right? They 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 give us this ability with a small amount of capital to drive the price much much higher. Say what? You want me to say hedges are fuck? It? I mean, it, it's it's true though, right? Because they have to hedge and then, you know, that increases their exposure and then they have to hedge more and that further increases their exposure. And, you know, they're throughout this entire thing, they're constantly generating FTDs because there's no real shares to do any of this with. Um, and, and options drive all of that. They drive all of it at a, at a reduced rate of capital, right? So, you know, a, a Feb 510 might only have a delta of what? Uh, does anybody have another brokerage open right now that can tell me the uh, delta on a Feb 510? Point oh oh two four. Ugh. Let's use a better example than that then. Let's say a Feb 200. That's where most of the open interest is, right? What's a Feb 200's delta? We're really low right now. That delta will go up as the price increases. <clears throat> Delta's 0.13. All right. And that, that contract is... 13 dollars so 13 for 1300 dollars 0.35 that makes more sense so for 1300 dollars 35 shares leveraged uh, upon buying it 35 synthetics created then you know in t plus two plus 35 days another 35 synthetics created <clears throat> Right. Um, and then if you exercise it, a hundred synthetics created. And so, you know, this is, you know, a hundred and what, 170 shares of leverage for $1,300. As that price increases, obviously, as the price increases and IV increases, the delta value will go up. So even more synthetics have to be created. So that's 170 shares created, 170 FTDs made, you know, and 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 buying one, like buying, uh, what, you could get nine shares for that same price versus an option, which, you know, is going to leverage 170 shares against their margin and force failures, like, to me, there's no question now that we have the float, now that we've created this illiquidity, there is no question for me that uh, retail's money is best spent on options contracts. Now, not everyone knows how to do this or understands it, and that's that's fair. But the people that do and don't are are, you know, I think I think doing themselves a disservice, if nothing else. Oh, I don't, I don't care about that. 
I don't, I, I, I don't care if people agree with me. This is true. The data supports this. The FTD data supports this. The, the, the ETF borrow data supports this. You know, the, the SEC data from the report on January supports this. This is what fucks them. Keith Gill, great stream. I'm a long-term fundamental investor. So the daily TA stream you have going on is extremely educational for me. Thank you, Keith Gill. I appreciate that as well. <clears throat> like if you want a short squeeze and you, we, and, and, you know, we're tapped out, we don't have a lot of money. This is the best way to create one. <clears throat> 